Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. I'm going to do a quick video on different um, making takes. So if you're doing this for the first time, you'll be able to know how to do it for yourself or host a, a party or get together a ladies night. And so there's a few tips and tricks that I've found. Um, I may forget a few and maybe you'll have a few that you can come and after this to help uh, people out. So right now I get, I love this kind of vanilla. It's called Global uh, Goods Vanilla. You can get it on Amazon. And this is the clear and it works exceptionally well. It's amazing and delicious. If you search, I think it's Team Transformation. I did a video before, maybe it was on my personal page, but I can find it on Global uh, Goods Vanilla. And it is the best one out there, okay? And there'll be links to this. Uh, one thing, we have all these uh, sheets. We have the price sheets, the links to where you get all the, the supplies um, on Amazon and which ones so you don't have to search so hard. Of course, if you want something different, you can go do that. But at least the things that how we did it, we can give to you so that you have a quicker, easier way to get it. So we're going to talk about vanilla, but we won't use that right now. What I did was I have vanilla like this and I have these tops that go in here for when we're not using it. Oops, excuse me. And it just comes out like this and, they, and it stores like this. I wrote vanilla on here or you could put a cute label. The one thing that I did do is I cut down these droppers until it's big enough that if it was a drop of vanilla, it would be a good amount. Um, for some of the recipes, it calls for vanilla. And so that's why we do that. But if you just had the normal spout, which I don't have one right here, of course they go to a very thin point. So if you're ever using these or a dropper to uh, represent a drop of oil, then you wanna make sure you cut it to where a drop of oil would be representative. Rep represented. So for example, ex example, um, vetiver is a very thick oil. To try to get this to come out of a bottle while you're trying to, people online is ridiculous, right? So everyone gets frustrated. So as you can see, this one right here, this is a very thick opening. So when you drop this in here, that does represent a drop of oil versus one barely coming out, which I don't have it right here, so I can't show you. So that's something I do with this, and I just take out the orifice during that time and uh, do that. Okay, the other is, um, we have this. There's these great little funnels. There's so many different kind of funnels out there, but I find that this is the best one. Um, some other ones that I got that have a thinner spout on it. The oils do not go through there. It backs up, it overflows. It's sort of frustrating, of course. Um, and so this works great for the perfumes, you know, if you're making a perfume, for example. And the other thing I found, if you're using vodka, for example, for perfumes, I'm sure most of everyone knows that I'm not into alcohol. And it took me literally like 25 minutes to even buy this stuff because I haven't had alcohol in my house for a very long time, at least 12 and a half plus years. And I don't drink and I don't promote drinking, right? So anyhow, it was hard for me to do, but what I did was is trying to have people use this and then pour this in here and all this kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> it was a little much of an overflow. So we found these syringes, which just work amazing. So literally all you do is you put it in here and you fill it up and you push slowly. I'm afraid that's gonna go through here. <gasps> well, that one hasn't been, <laughs> that just messed up. But normally it doesn't do that, right? So you push slowly. I'm gonna take some of this out, hold on. This is one of the ones I'm using today. And it does well, but these have been sitting here for a little bit. It did, it did not work like that prior once it's lubricated. So sorry about that. I should have done better. Um, so that really does work well. Of course, if you have a make and take, you can cover this up or pour this back in the bottle. You know, um, whatever you want to do. Vodka does work the best for a perfume, at least 80 proof. If you try to use witch hazel, witch hazel has a very funky smell, in my opinion. And so that's going to uh, change the smell of your uh, product whether it's a room spray or a perfume or whatever. This is the purest way to do it, okay? And then, this is why I have to get some of this out of here, and I'll remake this one for who I'm making this for. But someone just posted this recently, and I got some of the gold mica, and I'll post the link because I had to search quite a few of them to find a good one. This stuff is a little bit difficult to work with, so once again, I use one of these droppers, and I cut it at an angle, maybe you can see, so it's more like a little spoon because you don't need too much of this stuff. 
And then you're just going to go like this. And now this bottle's wet, so maybe that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. It does make it a little pretty. I'm not really into, you know, shimmering whatever, but it makes it sort of pretty when you have a label on there. We did that the other day, it looked nice. So this is a mica that's really nice to get. I, I guess they had different color ones. This is gold, this is edible. Um, when you do put it on, depending how much you put, you know, later on you could have like a little bit of a shine or shimmer to you, but not too much. Of course, depending on how much you put in there. But I'd have to prime this a couple times because it has to go through this spout, so. I don't know, maybe you'll see it later on me, I don't know. It still smells great. This one has Shrutron in it. I have a friend who loves the smell of Shrutron, so she's going to get this. It's not for a guy. <laughs> they have little gold things in there, but maybe you could put a little blue in there. I don't know. So this is the base of what we're going to um, be showing you. So here we go. With the perfumes, um, what I did is I just got these on Amazon. And so for City Lights, for example, this is... The City Lights, um, I have a label that I have to put on here. It's always nice to have a tester because people don't have, you know, most people don't have any idea what these are going to smell like. And of course, they want to know if they're going to like the smell of something. So even if you just open it and smell it, you should be able to smell what it's going to smell like. And so, of course, have the label on. I don't have that to represent for you today, but I have a bottle that goes with each one of it. And so this was City Lights. I put these things in a cute little thing. Of course, you can do whatever you want. And then, so each setup, if we come over here real quick, since I don't have this one messed up, right over here for um, Escape, it had the vodka, it had the oils that we use, it had the sample, and then the bottles. And so it sort of worked out well for someone to come to this station and to do this job and then go to the next one if they wanted to. And once again, let me just try this. So that was really dry. So normally when you do this, you just go, here, this comes out just a little bit. So. If you have it sitting overnight, like I did, let's try this one, then maybe you want to you know, prime that first. Yeah, because that's, that's a little harder too. Otherwise, it just works perfect for perfume bottles. So this is how we did uh, the perfumes, and then we're gonna go to um, the men's colognes, so you just can pause it. Okay, with the men's colognes, one thing I didn't state earlier is when I have all these bottles ready, usually I'll put like the abbreviation for them on the tops and then I have all the tops off to the side just because I don't know I like to be really efficient so it takes time to take things off and mix them and then I hate when like the wrong top goes on something else and especially like when lemongrass goes on peppermint and you try to drink lemon or peppermint and it tastes like lemongrass you know that kind of stuff so usually I'll have the abbreviations these aren't on here for some reason but this tray does has the abbreviations on here so when we get started behind this uh, section I would just literally have all the oil labels to the back so that um, it's not inconvenient for people everyone's gonna be using it so you don't have to keep putting it on and off and that kind of thing but anyhow uh, this is the baller roll-on this is my favorite and I named it if you want to know why it's my favorite but anyhow so we have these nice little ones that are, you know some guys may like gold some people may like silver so we have these the gold roller balls you know you just pull these out and then we put the oil in. I love using these kind of things as well. Or once again, as you can see, when we do another one, um, what do you call it? The vodka syringes. You can have um, a container with uh, uh, the oils and then have it where you pull this up and do it in here because the biggest thing happens, Julie Vandeker gave me a great idea. She has people put um, the carrier oil or the vodka in first so that someone doesn't overfill it like I just did in the first example, right? Um, and sometimes that can work great. I found with these syringes, minus my blender here, that it works to do it either way. Um, and so however you choose to do it. But this is a nice concept too. You could put a nicer label on here and then you pour it in here. Um, on most of them, not this one, but on a lot of things you'll see I have or this or, the, or that because maybe someone can't have coconut, maybe they can have grape seed, so I don't care which one they use. And then you just fill it in here. Of course, you'll put all the oils you want to put on here, push the roller top in, and then, um, oh, this one already has liquid in here. I'll use that one later. And then you fill it up. And then we have labels 
so there there is one I did not get them printed in time but you whether you do a hand label um, which is clear like sometimes the roller balls come with labels and so these are actually clear when you write on it and it, it could go on the bottle or there's some other kinds we have like links to all these things and then there's actually some that are made so when it comes to Melissa Pepping's recipes um, if that's in here and it will say by Melissa Pepping uh, we have the sign typed up for you. You need to buy her book, right? Because it has more in there. And of course we want to help support her and that kind of thing. Uh, but she has labels already made up that are very beautiful and work great. Okay. I had some made up for some of the five mil bottles we do and um, that works really nice. So whether it's on this size bottle or a five mil, um, you still can use it either way. Okay. So we have those available that you can get and print up yourself as well. And then having markers, if you want to do that in different colors if someone's gonna decorate something. And of course, always getting the fine tip marker um, would be valuable because otherwise, you know, the labels just don't um, come out that well. Okay. So the same kind of setup where we have uh, the, the oil that's being made and then the products that go with it, the vodka, the bottles. For the men, we did silver and gold because of course, some like, um, both, you know, sorry, there's a light right here. So uh, here's the Swagger cologne, uh, the Sterling cologne. Now see like this one you'll see, it says it's by uh, Melissa Pepping. So that's her recipe uh, that came from her book. So it will be noted as such if it was from her. And once again, we just have the vodka and the oil set up that go with that project.